Uh, so we have the bone. Uh, so the only thing left is the ticket. I'm guessing we can't use you on the lock. I can't dig that, Daddy. Okay. I can't dig that, Daddy. Mm, no, I think I think we're uh, good here. I don't want to polish that. I don't want to polish that. I can't dig that, Daddy. I don't want to polish that. That doesn't seem to work. That doesn't seem to work. Hmm. I can't dig that, Daddy. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw me use a knife like that. I don't want to polish that. It's empty. Yeah, of course it is. Oh, there it is. God damn it. Did you steal moral fiber from the men? No. They're from the previous game. Uh, I, th I think uh, they're completely done. Like, there's nothing else to do with them. But there, I found it. It was just hiding behind the door. Ah. Uh... I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Oh, where was it? Oh, that's the teacher from the previous ah, game. Ah, here it comes. That's a bra? Not my size. Nice April fresh scent. All right, now we have everything to make the voodoo doll. Uh, so let's get going. I'm going to guess what's going to happen is I get rid of him. The barkeep is so happy he'll give me a grog. Then I use that to open the the crypt, uh, and that in there is the probably the necklace for Captain Dread. But it also seemed like I was supposed to use the wood the jar. Are you there we go thank you that took a while have you brought me any more ingredients mm -hmm. i have some of his spit excellent you may keep the paper nice. have you brought me any other ingredients i have the bone of his grandfather perfect do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. No, no questions? At okay. last, now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. <laughs> MSG? This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Love me some Lago, MSG, yeah. Lago, yeah. Hey, 
Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Okay. Interesting. Oh, so I think... I'm not sure, but I think MSG, we call that, in Sweden, we call that, uh, Aromat, I think is the spice here. Yeah, I think I, th I think yeah, we can Google that. I think it's Aramot. Aramot is MSG, I think. I'm guessing I'm gonna be hiding. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room and stay out. Okay. I don't want to steal his bell. I feel bad enough setting his alligator free. I think Largo's out of voodoo range. Hmm. Hmm. Can I, like, without going in? Oh, no. Every time I turn around, you're there! How dare you come in here again! I ought to beat you up for coming in here! Get away from me! Bye! Oh, I have the time. Okay. I ought to beat you up for coming in here! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb! How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no-good, vicious, two-bit thug! I command you to give me back my money and leave this island! Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, Spend it where? Well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make... That'll teach you to mess with the slayer of the ghost pirate LeChuck. Should probably not have said that. that. You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck. She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that? Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. That's how he's, he, he's. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Yes, Look you... out world. The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again. Whoops. God rush, you're such an idiot. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's going to be looking for me. Yes. He's going to try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Can you just kill me now and get it over with? You must try not to lose hope, Guybrush. There is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh, yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Ooh. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop, 
Unclaimed Bonanza, or Myth. And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue right. fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Pretty hey, sure thanks. that's fraud. Big Whoop, Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? This is fascinating. It says here there were four pirates. Rap Scallion, the cook. Young Lindy, the cabin boy. Mr. Rogers, the first mate. And Captain... Good heavens! Captain Marley! Wonder if there's any relation. They bury their treasure along with plenty of... Uh-oh. Booby traps on a place believed to be called Inky Island. They made a map which they divided into four pieces, each man taking I one. Think... Rap Scallion later opened the Steam and Weenie Hut on Scab Island. It was a huge success, but fell into disrepair after Rap was killed in a flash fire. Young Lindy drifted aimlessly, down on his luck until he mysteriously came into money while panhandling on Booty Island. He used the cash to bankroll an advertising firm which failed after its gross mishandling of the gangrene and honey account. Mr. Rogers retired off the coast of Fat Island. He marketed homemade contest grog brewed in a bathtub until his recent disappearance. Captain Marley vanished while sailing in the America's Cup race. His boat was leaning at the time. Marley I recognize. No thanks. I don't need it. No thanks. I don't need it. After all, it's only a display model. Ash to life. The uncremating cream. Uh. So... I should be... I'm wondering if Weenie's Hut is... Okay, so we had Weenie's Hut is the thing I need to solve now. Weenie's Hut. Right? I need to open that up somehow. It's little, mean-looking, and ugly. Just like Largo. Mm-hmm. And I think, wasn't there someone here? In the cemetery. Wait, let's... Stan's Cozy Crypts. A place to spend eternity, not a fortune. It's locked shut with a big rusty lock. Warning! Quarantine tomb. Inhabitants died of green tongue fever. The Ricketts. No trespassing. The Quagmires. No trespassing. Wasn't it here? The Grave of the Unknown Pirate. The Grave of the Unknown Cabin Boy. I can't dig that, Daddy. The Grave of the Unknown Drunk Guy we found face down in his own vomit on the beach. Is it maybe up here? No, it's not her. No man commanded Jean Louise. Not on land and not on water. Jean did whatever he did please until he kissed the gunner's daughter. Here lies daredevil Jim McDowell. Hand of steel, leg of wood. Jim took every risk he could. A life of action. That was Jim's. Too bad he ran out of limbs. I don't think there's much of old Jim left to dig up. I don't think I need to see the remains of Jean Louise. This ground looks too hard and dried up to dig. So that is the only... Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's 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 see if I get the grog. Then it has to be the weenies, and I have to figure out a way to open... Get into the weenie hut. Let's see if people are just happy, because I'm gonna guess that he bust off now. We need a chance. But can I get boost now? Excuse me. Yeah, boy. Largo Legrand has left Scab Island we for go. good. Well, well. 
I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put them in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. I must have left my ID in my other pants. You'll have to do better than that. No ID, no service. Okay, so I need an ID. How the hell do I get an ID? That's what I, I... I do need an ID, because I'm pretty sure the grog is gonna let me unlock that. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Hey, I did it! Largo Legrand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. Okay. And uh, nothing else interesting? Let's see... Do I get something from him here? <clears throat> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well... No, never mind. I'd like to look around a bit. Sure thing. Yeah, that's not giving me anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That book might do something for him, right? For this kid. Hello. No, thanks. Okay, I thought I, I thought that would be something you would want. All right. I made Largo leave this island. You made cards out of sand. Do I care? I guess I'll be going now. All right, nothing interesting with him. Let's see, maybe I can rent a room now? Don't know why I would want to do that. Oh. Nothing? All right. Hmm. Only one guest. I'd have to have a room first. Hmm. Yeah, don't think there's anything here for me. Can I pick one more up? Don't know why I would need another one, but we never know. Uh, Alright, so let's have a look at the weenie hut. Doesn't seem to be anything more here. There, the beach. Could also talk with him, see, like, you know, oh, he's left, can we leave now? Uh, might be that we're coming back here later. He's back. Well, you guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. You sure can write a mean letter, Fink. Are you Swedish, perhaps? Do you guys know any more piratey songs? Okay, here's one about a pirate, his parrot, and a tragic day at sea. You're not gonna sing... Polly the Squawker lives in Davy Jones' locker, are you? You know that one always makes me cry. Sorry, Bart. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Nice. Looks closed. That doesn't seem to work. I don't think I should pin that. I don't want to polish that. My scoutmaster would kill me if he saw no. me use a knife like that. So... I'm gonna guess I'm gonna have to go to another island and then, then I come back. No, because he, he still needs... 
he still needs uh, his um, amulet, right? His necklace. He won't go anywhere without it. And so, question is, where do you find it? An annoying walk. It's me again. So I see. What can I do for you this time on? Why can't I charter your ship? Like I said before, man, I lost my lucky eye that has seen the world sailing necklace. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. I haven't seen a necklace. So it has to be the ID. I have to find the ID. It says, and I quote, it says, and I quote, Captain Dredd's ship charters. 20 pieces of eight. Inquire within. Would the witch have your ID? No, I don't think so. I think, like, she's already done, I think. So the question is, where do I get it? I could get it maybe from the cemetery somehow? That's the only thing I can think of that's left. What's like the latest item I've gotten? You need to find something. To yeah, there we go. Okay, so it was just buggy. Uh, something to replace. Hello. Oh. Nice oh. map. Drew it myself. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Hey, where's my monocle? Don't know. No idea. I would never have caught that. I would never have figured out that I needed the monocle. I mean, because, yeah, he did say, like, it was his friend's eye. Uh, so, I guess. But when, when we had the head, it had all of that. So, I don't know. Maybe we didn't meet his friend. This is the eye of a cartographer. So, I guess it works, right? Hmm. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island. So I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. But I do. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Part two, four map pieces. Yay. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm lies Lechuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated Fool. Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. All right. I'm off to find Big Whoop. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. 
this end of the uh, the chapter. So I think this is a good place to start and end. And it's like one o'clock.